Well, good morning everybody. Actually, it's almost afternoon. As you can see, we're standing here looking at Jenna. And she's laughing and she's turning 13. And this is her horse, Sophia, who is a warm blood mare. And um, it's actually quite a miracle that this horse is standing still. Because when we started, she wouldn't stand. She wouldn't walk. She did nothing but want to trot and throw her head and all kinds of stuff. So she started through some foot problems, we've sorted through some diet problems, we've sorted through body work issues, and uh, yeah, so finally now we have something that is looking like it's rideable, and I must say that Jenna has done an amazing amount of work with this horse, just to let you know that this is not um, happened without a lot of effort on her part. She's been really, really good about doing her homework, we've been lunging over poles, she's spent a lot of time just walking this mare around just trying to get her comfortable because she definitely was not comfortable. So this is just a short introduction to the kinds of issues that you see with a lot of people, with a lot of horses, and she's going to just walk ahead and just ride her at the walk. So she's she's got her head up in the air, I'm not particularly worried about that because this mare actually has tightness in her upper neck and shoulders and she also had a really really tight pulled hamstring at the back so uh, yeah she she's had a lot of physical issues and so we're just trying really to unlock the horse so that she can move comfortably and not um, force her to do anything because you know you force them to do things and you cause more problems and you cause discomfort this horse was very very much on the forehand she used to practically rip the reins right out of Jenna's hands and thank God we've got to a place now where she's no longer doing that um, literally Jenna could not come in here and walk this horse around like this before there was no way she was trying to take off with her she was bucking she was doing all kinds of stuff and she's a big powerful mare you know she can throw herself around pretty good so it wasn't really something for a kid to take on to try and sort out and what I said to Jenna was we need to teach this horse that she doesn't have to pull so we we worked on getting her much lighter and as you can see she's nodding her head very well like I like to see the fact that means that the spine is moving correctly instead of just being kind of locked and fixed on the bit hauling your arms out of your sockets this is not a good thing but when horses do that it is a sign of stiffness and discomfort so it's not about pulling on their face it's about allowing the spine and the muscles down the top line to warm up properly and get the horse comfortable so that they can actually move and walk um, without discomfort and of course it makes them much easier to ride so that's our basic introduction to Jenna and you can keep track of Jenna on my YouTube channel just check anshorsemanship.com because there'll be more to come bye for now